You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Kelly Swoop and these are your WMAR 2 News top stories. Hartford County's tourism organization is suing County Executive Bob Cassily, claiming he withheld funding and told the state not to speak to them. It is the latest development in an ongoing feud between Cassily and Visit Hartford. The nonprofit says it was supposed to get $645,000. It's now suing the county for breach of contract. In response, Cassily says he wants county government to oversee tourism going forward following a model used by Baltimore County. Visit Hartford has run tourism since 2015. Before that, it was county run. County Executive Barry Glassman made the change because he said it would save the county money. From bike trails to monkey bars, there's a new investment in places to play across the state. Governor Wes Moore's fiscal year 2025 budget includes nearly $50 million in grants to expand parks and playgrounds. The Department of Natural Resources program, Open Space, will give out over $32 million to counties in Baltimore City to buy and develop land for public recreation, with Baltimore also getting an additional $10 million for city projects. And the Community Parks and Playground program will give out $5 million across the state for playground-specific projects. One summer program takes learning outside the classroom and puts it on stage and in art galleries. Up and coming, artists across Baltimore showed off what they learned the past few weeks at the program. The Summer Arts for Learning Academy, or SALA, held an art show and performance at Henderson Hopkins Elementary School. The Academy mixes art with academics to keep minds sharp over the summer. You see them learning math through the lens of an artist. You see them learning, you know, more of their literacy. And instead of just reading the book, they're in a, engaging in a book doing the tableau, and, you know, creating a script behind the book. So they really jump into the academics, but it's in a different lens through the arts. Sala teaches over 20,000 students across eight locations in the city. We're heating up over the next couple of days. Temperatures pushing near the 100 degree mark. When you factor in the humidity, it'll likely feel warmer than that. 105 to 110. So find ways to stay cool. This is dialing it up a notch. Temperatures uh, fuel storms and showers. We'll have two potential for strong to severe storms. That's Thursday, Friday afternoon. Damaging wind, the main concern, but uh, plenty to keep an eye on. As we get into the weekend, readings drop back into the mid to low 90s. Women's pro lacrosse, athletes unlimited up in sparks. Back-to-back -back games next week. We're mid-90s. Temperatures drop a bit, but it's still hot and humid, Kelly. Stick with us online at WMAR2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2news app in the App Store.